What's up, people? Furnace here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I got that tone with the Archetype Nolly by Normal DSP. Now, yes, there's a link for you to download this preset in the description, but before I actually start showing you the plugin and showing you the order in which you need to do things uh, to get this tone, there's some important things I do want to mention before uh, we go to the actual plugin. I tried recreating the tone as close as I could using my ear only. And because of that and a few other reasons I'll be going over in a second, this isn't going to sound 100% as the OG tone of the Justice album. Well, you just heard uh, what tone this video will help you get, and you can compare it to the original Justice tone if you want. You can search for the isolated tracks of a lot of Justice songs on YouTube, so that way you can hear the difference yourself. Now, I did the best job I feel like I could have done right now to get as close as possible, but obviously because my hearing is not perfect, there's a limit to how close I can actually get to the OG tone. Now, my hearing is one of the reasons, but there are a few other ones. I specifically avoided using any third-party impulse responses that you can find online. That's mainly because I wanted to get as close as possible uh, to the Justice tone while working with only the archetype Nolly, only out-of-the-box stuff. No external EQs, no external anything, just the archetype Nolly. That's because that's also going to be able to help people that uh, use the plugin in standalone. Now for the record, I don't have anything against, you know, third-party IRs. There are some great, very good free impulse responses of a lot of metallic albums out there that you can certainly go out and find and try out with the Nolly plugin. Especially because since the Nolly is also an IR loader, It'd be a breeze to try a lot of different IRs out, right? And also at some point I do want to do a follow-up video to this one, trying to get even closer to the Justice tone using those free Justice IRs. But for the purposes of this video, I'm sticking with only the Nolly and nothing else. Another reason is because we're trying to imitate a different amp. Now, uh, the consensus from what I could find online seems to be that uh, Metallica in the Justice era when they recorded this, they either use Marshall amplifiers with Mesa Boogie amplifiers, and I've also seen a lot of people say that uh, they only use Mesa Boogie amplifiers. In either case, with the archetype Nolly, in case you didn't know, uh, Nolly himself modified the amplifiers, and Neural DSP modeled those amplifiers that he modified. Uh, and also very important to mention, he also used custom cabinet speakers. And uh, custom, I'm not sure if he modifies his speakers himself. In either case, from what I understand, neither Nolly nor Neural DSP have come out and publicly stated which amplifiers they use. Now the community does have the speculations that Amp 2 is a JCM 800 and that Amp 3 is a PV5150. And I have personally never played a real JCM 800, but I did get the opportunity once to play a real PV5150 with a PV cab. And Amp3 certainly reminds me of that kind of feel uh, that that amplifier gives. The point here is because we're not gonna be working with the same amplifiers or calves, in our case, uh, impulse responses that Metallica probably used back in 88, we're just not gonna be able to get the exact same tone. On a side note, I do want to try and get this same, uh, the same Justice tone with the archetype Gojira at some point in the future doing a video about that. I do own that plugin as well, and I do believe it has a dual rectifier and a recto cav uh, for the amp and cap 2 of that plugin. So, you know, seeing how close we can get with that, uh, I think it would be very interesting. So I definitely want to make a video about that in the future. By the way, if anyone at Neural DSP is watching, guys, please, you should really consider making a plugin of the Mark 2C Plus, or for that matter, maybe even the Mark 4 or the Mark 5, the JP2C. Bruh, that'd be an instant buy for me. And the cool thing about being able to use that amplifier is that I'd be able to make a future video about how to get the Master of Puppets tone. So there you go, Neural, you have an idea for a future plugin there. Lastly, I do think it's worth mentioning that this video isn't sponsored. As you can probably tell, my channel is very small, so I don't really have any contacts with any company. Uh, I tried this plugin out with the 14-day trial, I believe, that they let you use for free. I just loved the plugin and then bought it with my own money. With all that out of the way, let's get into my signal chain. My guitar is a Bolero STE Elite Black uh, by Diamond Guitars, and yes, it's a mouthful. <laughs> it's loaded with an EMG81 in the bridge, 
and an EMG85 on the neck. For the purposes of this video, we're only going to be using the EMG81 because basically, well, you know, it's the pickup that gives us the brightness that we need. So you don't need the 85 at all. If you want to get this tone, if you have an EMG81 loaded pickup, this preset should work perfectly well for your guitar. And also it's worth mentioning the tone knob, I do have it fully maxed out on my guitar. Last thing for my guitar, my strings are Ernie Ball 10 to 46. Now these ones are about like two to three weeks old, uh, more or less. So you, you will need fresh strings ideally. And if you don't have fresh strings, I will show you some few things you can do to kind of make up for the lack of brightness out of that. I should also mention I'm tuned to EB and not E standard when filming this right now. But don't worry about it, the matching of the, the justice tone, I did record it with my guitar tuned to E standard. Just for this video, I just happened to have it tuned to E flat. Now my guitar is plugged straight in into my audio interface. I'm using a Presonus Audio Box i2, but if you have whatever interface, like it should be fine. Like. If you're using the Behringer one, uh, Focusrite one, hell, a universal audio one, they should all be more than fine for the purposes of this video. Okay, so we're now into the computer. I use Reaper as my DAW. You can use whatever DAW you like, obviously. You'll notice there's two extra tracks here. This one is obviously just for recording my microphone so that you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. So you can just ignore my microphone track. This one, I have it set up so that uh, when I make changes in the plugin, for example, when I go from the default settings to the actual justice tone preset, you can actually hear the change. And you know, if I move the presence knob or stuff like that, you guys can also hear the difference that makes. So uh, you guys can just ignore this track. The only one you guys care about is, you know, make your own track in your DAW, set up your guitar for recording, and then load the Nolly on that track. So I'll show you before turning the Nolly on. I have my guitar uh, set up to peak at about minus 6 dB. I'll show you. So as you can see, I just have my guitar set up again, peaking at about minus 6 dB and hopefully the level of my guitar staying normally between minus 12 and minus 18. So now you guys are going to go into your track and then you're going to load your archetype Nolly. So I'm going to actually turn it on right now. When you load it up, you're, you guys are going to find it on the default settings. So before loading the preset, if you're unfamiliar with Neural DSP plugins, I'll, I'll talk about the layout uh, very quickly. First, there's this tuner down here. It's very useful. I use it all the time. It's really good. Then up here, we have the input gain. I leave it at zero, but if you wanted to push the amp harder, you can put that up or other way around. Do you want to push it not as hard? Uh, pull the input gain down. Gate, well, you obviously just set it up so that you get your noise floor under control. For mode, I use it mono because just one guitar. Oversampling, I like uh, leaving it on high, but if you're having performance issues, if you don't have a CPU that's uh, powerful enough, it just put it on normal, it's fine, really. And now this is the preset section, so we'll actual, I'll actually show you guys how to load a preset immediately. You guys are gonna need to press this button, and assuming you have already downloaded the preset, you guys are going to find it, whatever it is that you downloaded it. You know, if you have it on your downloads folder, uh, go there, select it and open. And then you guys should have the preset right there. The preset name is Furnace 5150 Justice-ish. So yeah, there you guys ha have the preset loaded. And obviously this is how it sounds. So now I'll actually show you guys how I went on about making the uh, the tone that you guys actually hear. First, we'll start here in the stomp box section. So the only pedal that we're going to use here is the Tube Screamer like pedal. You could use a compressor, but I don't like it. You, you know how Justice already has so much gain that you really don't need anything else. Uh, Overdrive 2, you, you could make it work, I guess, but it, it does have like so much gain it's it's just unnecessary and i feel like the sound coloring of this one uh, gets closer to justice's actual tone but feel free to experiment with uh, the overdrive too which is more like a distortion pedal than an overdrive in my opinion but here uh, you know typical stuff you do drive at zero level fairly high i don't have it maxed it out because if you max it out it like it, it's so much gain like i'll actually show you a difference so this is how i like it 
But if we max it out, it's so much gain, dude. <laughs> it's just fine the way it is, you know? So, but if you wanted more gain, or maybe you cannot get enough gain out of your interface, then uh, you can use the input gain, or you can also push the level higher. You know, you have the little bit of headroom. Uh, tone, typical stuff, you know, a, a bit high from the middle position. And that's where I find it works the best. Next in the amp section up here. So as you can probably tell by the preset, we're using the 5150 type amplifier. Uh, and again, not a lot of gain. There's just so much already. And if you were missing more, you can either push the overdrive higher or you can you could also push it up from this section. Not that many lows. You might be surprised to see the lows this low. You know, I, I thought I was going to put it a lot higher, but when we get to the EQ section, you guys are going to see it's so damn aggressive that just those EQ moves actually give you so much bass that I had to actually cut some lows out of this one. Mids, uh, as you might have expected out of Jess's tone, really damn scooped. High is fairly normal. You know, just almost at six, a bit higher than middle position. Now for the master knob, you might actually be surprised to see it this low, but it's actually, I, I know it's something Nolly talked about. If you scoop the master out, you actually start getting a tighter and more like less focus on the mids type of tone. Whereas if you raise the master higher, you start getting a much more mid rangey type of sound. I'll actually show you a difference because it does make a big difference in getting this sort of tone. So this is uh, how it comes in the preset. But if I raise it up, and it's not going to be that noticeable here because the mids are so scooped, but if you raise it very high, and I'm going to pull the level down so that you don't blow your ears off. Like now we should hear a much more mid-rangey type of sound. So again, I'm going to do an A-B comparison. Now this isn't very noticeable because we have the mids scooped so damn much. But uh, again, I'll, sh I'll show you a difference w without actually scooping the mids so much. So we'll raise the mids. That's with the master down, so let's pull that up. So you can definitely hear that mid-range creeping up quite a bit. So the, ma the master knob is actually quite a big part of getting this sort of tone. Now, if you don't know for this amp, the resonance uh, knob actually affects the low end, the bass frequencies and the low mids. So uh, again, because of the, because the EQ moves we do later are so aggressive, I felt the need to put push this down to like actually, you know, not have the amp be like overblown with low mids and uh, bass frequencies. The presence, same as high, is fairly high, nothing too crazy. And the level knob is pushed fairly high to compensate, obviously, because we, we push the master volume so low. And also lastly, I do want to say I do have the output gain uh, raised up because again, like, you know, between lowering the master volume so much, not having that much meat, you're going to need to compensate for the loss of volume. Now onto the EQ section. And this is where it gets really aggressive. As you can already tell, like not only are we scooping the living f out of the mids on the amp, we're also doing it on the EQ. <laughs> And you guys might actually be surprised I actually did have to push the lows down as well. Because I, again, if you don't do this, you get so much like of that explosive low. And but if you feel like you're missing it, then obviously you can just raise 125. You have a lot of headroom with the low and in case you feel like you're missing some. Now the biggest moves here were getting, you know, the uh, these frequencies right. What I try to do here is imitate a type of moves that you would do on a Mark series. Uh, for Mesa Boogie amplifier. So you, you know how you, uh, to get that, let's say, signature Metallica tone. You usually raise the low frequencies, scoop the living f*** out of 750 hertz, then raise a little bit, like 2.2k uh, hertz, and raise 6.6k uh, hertz. You know, so th this is what, what I'm trying to accomplish with these moves. You know how obviously we don't have 750 hertz specifically on this graphic EQ. So I kind of make up for that by lowering the frequencies that, are, you know, have 750 in the middle. You know how 750 is like exactly the middle position between 500 hertz 
and 1k so that's what i try, try to accomplish there now if you ask me why i am not racing like 250 because on the mark series amplifiers i think it's 240 hertz and you usually want to push that up same for 80 hertz or that area and for the higher end again 2.2 uh, k hertz you usually want to raise that again the only reason why i'm not doing that here is because we're not using that same mark amplifier the way they're designed and the way they work to get the sound it's so much different as well to get a closer tone i you know i, I felt like this amplifier already had enough 2k that it already has enough low end so i, I actually felt the need to push it down because we're removing a lot of uh you know the the brightness and the bite out of that tone uh, i did raise 4k and 8k uh, to make up for those moves so that we can actually get that aggressiveness the the justice album has so okay now moving on to the cap section i'm using cap 3 which is you know the matching cap for amp 3 i tried with all the caps obviously this one is the clean cap don't even try to get justice with this cap it, no <laughs> the marshally type sounding cap didn't work for me like the eq curve it, i felt like it's just way too different from justice for it to work and for me it was actually a toss-up between this one and the fourth cabinet uh, because this this cab does have like a more unique sounding eq curve than the third one i feel you can definitely hear the difference and i did manage uh, at first I actually started with this cab and i did manage to get fairly close but the thing is with cab three like it's so moldable, you, you, you know, uh, in the sense that you can EQ it so hard from the amplifier and from the really damn aggressive EQ moves. You know, you can do that and it still sounds good and it let me get the closest to the Justice Tone. So that's basically a reason why, you know, I got closer with this cab than the fourth cab. Now for the microphone, you can try a lot of different stuff. Uh, I try a lot of stuff like using 257s at the same time. One thing I did was put like one at, right at the middle and the other one, uh, you know, push it kind of more away so that you can get more of the low end with this one, more of the, uh, the aggressiveness and more of the brightness with this one and kind of, you know, level those two out. I also tried using a 50 cent with a 421. Uh, 414 and 160 don't really work for this tone, but in the end I ended up settling for, you know, this, just this 157 which again is just what I found to get me the closest to the original justice tone. Then we have the effects pedal section here, you know, obviously reverb and delay, you don't need it for the rhythm tone or hell, I don't know, like if you wanted to make like ambient justice-ish a type of tone, so yes, you can do it. You know, if you want to play leads or something like that, you can do it. But for a rhythm tone, you can just turn it off and be fine with it. And that's basically it. Obviously, I just wanted to explain what I did to get all of this stuff. But you obviously, the only thing you need to do is come here, find a preset where you download it, load it up. Make sure you get the input gain right and away you go. Okay, so now before ending the video, I'm actually going to play a lot of riffs from different metallic albums, not just, just this stuff, so you can hear how this sounds. So, hope you enjoy.
Conclusion. Can the archetype in Oliga get the exact same tone as the Injustice Royal tone from Metallica? Now, in my opinion, if we're talking about, like, surgically the same, like, 120% the same, no difference whatsoever, then, in my opinion, no. Uh, you know, if, if we're holding it to that high of a standard, then, no, not really. Like, it doesn't do justice, like, a thousand percent the same, right? But in my opinion, it does get really damn f oh, yeah. close. It definitely captures the essence, definitely captures the heaviness, the aggressiveness uh, that that tone has. So if you have already the archetype Nolly, like as I've said a lot of times during this video, you're more than welcome to download this preset and give it a try. Uh, you know, got nothing to lose with that, right? Actually, the reason that I wanted to make this video in the first place is back when I did my Injustice for All Tabs video, which was a long time ago, now that I think about it. I actually, with this in plugin, I got really close to the tone, to the point that I actually had to make it somewhat different so that you could actually hear my guitars on top of the Justice guitars. But yeah, I feel like I got even closer than that time now with this preset, so uh, I feel comfortable, like, you know, putting this out there and saying like, hey, you want to get a very similar Justice type of guitar tone with the Archetype Nolly? Well, there you go, you have the preset. And that's gonna do it for this video. So if you stay till this part of the video, thank you very much for watching the whole thing. It really does help me out a lot. Consider leaving a like if you did like the video, if you enjoyed it, if this was helpful for you, uh, consider subscribing as well. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, actually. I don't know how many I have right now, but I'm like really close to a thousand. So I thought this uh, in a sense was going to be my video of oh, yeah. 10 subscribers away from recording this video. So if I make it to a thousand subs, uh, you know, when I post this video. Thank you all so much. Uh, f yeah. That's a big number for me. Uh, yeah, I do plan on making more plugin type videos, not necessarily tone videos. Neural, again, please, if you guys could please make any more Campfire, please. I want to make that Metallica Master of Puppets tone video, please. As you saw, I also own the Gojira, and I actually do want to try and get this. I think I said it in the video already, but I do want to try and get the this tone, the Justice tone with the Gojira amplifier. Now, if I don't get close at all, I'm probably not going to post that because then I'd be wasting your time. But if I can get really close as well, then I probably will make a video about it because, uh, you know, I do believe the Gojira has a dual rectifier and a rectocav. So you might actually be able to get uh, really close as well, if not even closer. I also own the Ford in Cali. I do want to make a few videos on that plugin as well. And by the way, no, I'm not stopping making uh, tab videos, by the way. I do want to finish Ride the Lightning, which actually Escape should be my next tab video. But that's going to do it for me. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy the preset and keep chugging. See you on the next one.